to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am currently on the WW or Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's weigh-in day. Today is a little bit different. I'm coming at you from my office because it's actually Wednesday when I'm filming this video. If you didn't know, I'm actually headed out to San Diego tomorrow. Thursday or the day before you see this video. So I had to weigh in quite early this week, which I debated on whether or not I wanted to do that because it's only been a few days since my last weigh in, but I wanted to be honest and make sure I put out a video about this week's weigh in results, whether early or not. So when you see this video, I'm actually at SeaWorld with my best friend in San Diego. I'm sure having an absolutely fantastic time. So I want to remind you there will not be a meal prep video coming out on Monday because I'm actually in San Diego when I generally meal prep. However, I will have another video posted on Monday for you with some tips and tricks when it comes to weight loss. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you're new, subscribe, turn on the bell next to it so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. I would love to have you join my YouTube friends and family. It's a pretty fun place to be around here. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you enjoy these weekly weigh-ins on Friday and check out that description box down below, not only for my nutrition coaching website, definitely take advantage of macro and calorie calculation. Knowledge is power, my friends. Know where you should fall daily when it comes to calories and macros, whether you're on WD or not, it's important to know exactly what you should be eating every single day. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching, so check that out down in the description box. You're also going to find links and discount codes to all of my very favorite things, and of course, the link to head over and join me on Facebook. I'd love to have you join that community as well. I'm also linking my second channel, my newer channel on weight loss and nutrition down below. It would mean the world to me if you'd head over and subscribe to that channel as well. You don't wanna miss the important content that comes out over there. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's WW Workshop topic and of course, my weigh-in. Boy, oh boy, has it been a week. It has been insane. About the last three to four weeks for me, just like I mentioned in a previous video, everything just kind of happened at once. I've been so busy with real estate, with YouTube, with coaching, which I'm so grateful that I have all of these things in my life. They mean so, so much to me. And I'm not complaining about being busy. It's just, I've been really busy. So I've been focused on not only getting things done, but also making sure that I'm taking some time for myself and getting in my workouts. I went and got a pedicure the other day just for a little bit of love and self care. I've also been making sure that my food has been on point. Now, have I made mistakes? Absolutely. Have there been days that I've went over points in calories? Absolutely. But overall, I've done pretty well when it comes to food and nutrition. So as you know, last week I maintained my weight. It was also my least favorite time of the month. So that's to be expected. In fact, normally I gain. So for me, the maintain was a huge win, but I had a good week this week or these last few days since it's been since my last weigh-in. So I was actually kind of excited to step on the scale, but nervous at the same time because it's only been a few days since my last weigh-in. But before we get into my weight loss results, let's talk about this week's WW Workshop topic. It was interesting. It was definitely a topic that I don't remember Weight Watchers ever talking about. If you remember this, please let me know down in the comments. But we talked all about plant-based foods and how to make a plant based inspired menu. Chances are we all know someone, a friend or a family member that's hopped on the plant-based eating way of life. Now, this is a great way of eating actually, because you're really consuming whole real food. There's very, very minimally processed foods when it comes to a plant-based lifestyle. So that's one thing that makes it actually really desirable. You're eating a diet rich in fruits, vegetables and products that are derived from plants, things like oat milk. A plant-based diet actually can provide a large amount of protein and definitely can help you hit your fiber goal. Plant-based diets are very, very high in fiber, which is something that helps keep us full and satisfied and less likely to overeat. So how about a fun challenge of actually having a plant-based meal at least once a week? Now, if you're enjoying plant-based meals or snacks, definitely add a few more in every week. But what about focusing on implementing at least one plant-based meal or snack each week? So I'm going to share with you today some 
ideas from WW on how to do just that. One very popular, delicious plant-based food are chickpeas. Now, chickpeas serve so many purposes. Of course, they are the foundation of most hummuses, but it's really fun to roast chickpeas with a little bit of olive oil and some seasoning, and you have a crunchy, delicious, fiber-rich snack. Also, what about just popping chickpeas onto your salad or rolling them up into a wrap for lunch? Chickpeas have so, so many uses. And again, they're a good source of protein and an excellent source of fiber. And here's an interesting one. What about swapping out oil or even unsweetened applesauce in a brownie recipe for black beans? Now, I have actually done this and there is no difference. You do not taste the black beans, especially if they're pulsed in a food processor or blended to kind of a softer paste or liquid form, you don't taste them at all. But they give you, again, a dose of protein and a high dose of fiber in a sweet treat. So it kind of makes that brownie a little less indulgent, still tastes delicious, but a little less indulgent. Number three is lean on lentils. It is fall, coming into winter, the cold season. Add some lentils to your favorite soup. I love lentil soup. I love lentils in general. So I actually am going to take full advantage of this suggestion because lentils are packed again with protein and tons and tons of fiber and they can bulk up soups and meals. I absolutely love tip number four and I've actually done this and that is to mix mushrooms in with ground beef. Not only does it bulk up what you're making, whether that's meatballs or hamburgers or meatloaf, it bulks it up and makes it more. So you kind of get a larger serving for zero extra smart points and it adds a little bit of moistness and richness to that meat dish as well. I have done this several times. I have made mushroom meatballs, meatballs. My husband had no idea that these meatballs did not have any meat in them. And in fact, I filmed a video on this and I will link it down below for you guys. It's part of my vegetarian playlist. So definitely check that out. It's a great way to get some vegetarian or plant-based recipe ideas. But he didn't know the difference, they were delicious. I have also added mushrooms many, many times to meatloaf, again, to bulk it up. And I'm a volume eater. I want as much food as I can get for my points and calories. So if I can add zero point mushrooms into my meatloaf, not affect the taste, but get a bigger slice of meatloaf, I'm in. And number five is think of tofu as a blank canvas for a meal. Now tofu has pretty much zero flavor. It takes on the flavor of whatever you cook it in or cook it with. So you can use tofu as your protein, add some marinade, some seasonings, and the tofu will just soak that up. And that's the flavor that will become forward in your dish. Now I will be honest, I have tried tofu I think once and was not a fan. Now am I opposed to trying it again? No. I just struggled with the texture. So maybe the tofu I had wasn't cooked right. Let me know down in the comments if you're a fan of tofu. And if you are, how do you cook it? Do you buy fir firm or soft tofu? How do you make tofu taste good and get rid of that mushy texture? I think that was my struggle with tofu. But it is packed full of protein and fiber. So again, maybe have a tofu meal one night a week or a snack made from tofu to get that little extra dose of plant-based richness. So those are some tips from WW on how to kind of incorporate more plant-based foods into your life. Now I'm all for it. I actually feel like I eat a lot of plant-based foods. I love beans and legumes. Again, not a fan of tofu, but I love plant-based protein. I actually prefer that over whey protein. I find that my body processes it a little bit better. You guys know I love LiveWell. Now, LiveWell is plant-based protein, and I get this question almost every day. Does it taste plant-based? Is it chalky? Does it have that weird taste and texture of plant-based? No. LiveWell protein is far superior than any other protein that I've ever had when it comes to taste and texture. I get zero chalkiness, zero plant-based flavor. You guys know I love Live Well. I mix it into oatmeal, smoothies, you name it. So I'm gonna link it down below for you guys because it's a great way to get in some plant-based protein into your life. And of course, there's a discount code as well, so save a little money and definitely, definitely check out Live Well for a great option for plant-based protein. Another great plant-based protein option is Orgain. I'll link that down below as well. Nice, clean ingredients in Orgain as well. Now, I find that it has a little more of that plant-based protein flavor, but not terrible. It's absolutely doable. It's not completely zero plant-based flavor like Live Well, but it's very, very mild. And I do like Orgain as well. I love their protein bars. And of course, I've used their protein powder many, many times. So I'll link that down below. Just a couple of plant-based options for you. So I gave you guys kind of a rundown of how my week went. 
busy, 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 but I'm so incredibly excited for my vacation. I definitely, definitely need it. Now, I want to let you guys know as well that I have decided not to vlog my trip to San Diego. I really just want to enjoy my time with my best friend and just savor all of the memories that we're planning on creating. However, I do plan on taking clips and little video segments and uploading those both on my Facebook group. So if you're not on my Facebook group, head over there, join so you can see kind of how my trip goes. And I'm also going to be posting a lot on my Instagram. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, definitely do that because that's where I post a lot of daily things and day in the life things because it's easier than sometimes putting them into an entire video. So definitely follow me over on Instagram. And for my weigh-in this week, although it has only been, let's see, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days since I last weighed in, when I stepped on the scale, I am down 0.8. So almost an entire pound in five days. My time of the month just got over, so that's even better that I'm able to lose almost an entire pound coming off of that and in only five days. So it's off to a great second week in the month of October, and it keeps me excited and motivated to do my best to stay on track on vacation. Lucky for me, my best friend also follows a very healthy lifestyle, so we'll be getting in a lot of activity, hiking and working out, and we are staying in a hotel that has a kitchen, so we are planning on grocery shopping and bringing in healthy foods and snacks, not only for budget purposes, but also to help us stay within our macros and calories while on vacation. Now, I will be strictly counting calories while I'm in San Diego. It just allows me a little bit more freedom while I'm on vacation, but I'm staying within my calorie goal and hitting my protein goal every day, which should lead to a weight loss when I get back. So I'm pretty excited for next week's weigh-in post vacation. So again, that's how my week went. I'm excited to take a little break. Make sure you comment down below and let me know how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? And are you going to implement a plant-based meal or snack this next week? I know that I am. So I'll make sure that I post that over on Instagram and also on my Facebook group. So you can see just how I implemented a little bit of plant-based lifestyle into my week. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. You don't wanna miss out. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these weekly weigh-ins and check out that description box for links for the protein powders and also for a few vegetarian recipes. Take advantage of those recipes that are already figured out points wise so that you can recreate those and introduce a little bit of plant-based into your life as well. So thank you guys again so, so much for watching. Check out my nutrition coaching website. Head over, join me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's grocery haul. I have a fun one coming your way. Have a great day, guys. Bye.